everyone. Today we're going to be exploring color theory. We're going to look at primary colors, which are the colors that we can blend to create other colors, and then secondary colors, which are the colors that are created from those primary colors. So we're going to grab our paintbrush, we've got a cup of water, it'd be handy to have some paper towel, and a little test strip, and of course your paints. We've got yellow, red, and blue. Those are our primary colors. And you'll see that they are also on the secondary color wheel. So let's get started. Okay, so once you've got your paintbrush loaded up with some water, you can load it up with some paint as well. I like to use that little test strip just to practice see the colors that are gonna come up. And then work on my project, starting to fill in that first yellow slice in the primary color wheel. You can use a little more paint to make your colors more intense. If you add more water, your colors will get lighter and they'll almost be see-through. And we're ready to move on to the next color, red. You can really see how light the colors are when there's a lot of water here. So I'm going to add some more paint just to make it nice and deep. And I'm going to do the same thing down on the secondary color wheel, filling in those primary color slices. You know, I think I would like to see just a little more bold color, so I'm adding a little more paint to my red on the primary color wheel, and I'm gonna rinse my brush and get started with the blue. So some other things that you can be thinking about while you're filling in these color wheels is what you would do with these colors. Maybe they give you a certain feeling, maybe they make you happy, Maybe they make you feel peaceful. Maybe you're thinking about a scene that you could paint. Maybe that blue reminds you of the sky on a sunny day. Or maybe it makes you think of being at the beach. Okay, now that we've completed all the primary color segments on our color wheels, we're going to get to those secondary colors. So I'm gonna start with some yellow. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of this yellow paint down on this test strip and I'm gonna mix the colors right here on this test strip. So I'll add a little bit of red to that yellow and blend them together and see what comes up when I mix them. Hmm starting to look kind of orange but I think I'd like it to be a little bit brighter so I'm gonna add more yellow okay maybe a lot more yellow oh now it's getting more yellow again right just a little bit of red ah yeah that's starting to look like what I want it to it's still a pretty yellowy orange but it reminds me of the sunflowers that I saw when I was driving in the country a few days ago. Okay, there's our orange. We're ready to move on. So, we're going to start again with some more yellow. And this time we're going to mix it with a little bit of blue. Oh wow, so that blue is really dark. So I'm gonna blot some of that blue paint off my brush, maybe rinse it a little bit, and then go back to blending. Now, the more blue you add, the more kind of a turquoise color you're gonna get. And then if you add a little more yellow, you're gonna get a more leafy kind of green color.
And we've got one last color to blend. So we'll take some red and some blue. I'm gonna use the blue that's on this test strip because there's so much there. And I'll blend them together and start to see that purple come through. But I think it needs some more red. Maybe just a little more blue just to get a really nice deep grape kind of colored purple. And then I'm filling in that last segment of my secondary color wheel. And there we are, all done. Good job, everyone. <laughs>